Arun. I am Saima and uh, I work as a design engineer. When I heard about it, uh, I would first, uh, I, I tried to find what is the rationale behind this um, proposal. And uh, yeah, I, I figured it out uh, certain points, which I noted down. Um, first, uh, one is they say that um, during the demonstration, people use misuse this. And that's why they want not to allow any uh, anybody to cover their faces, which I think it's rational. So in order to uh, identify the people who are causing some disturbances, I think uh, it is necessary that people shouldn't uh, cover their faces. And uh, they, I mean, in referendum, they also never said that they are taking away uh, religious, uh, any religious freedom. So it's just a, just a face covering uh, they want to ban and which is also okay. However, they also said that uh, they want to uh, strengthen their uh, cultural identity or culture. And by doing so, I don't think that they will achieve it. So, I mean, if you look at the numbers, it's the, the statistics is so low. Like you can literally count on fingers that how many women uh, are wearable uh, in public. It's like, I think a uh, statistic says 30 or 40, 40 women. It's like literally very low. And by, by banning uh, burqa, I don't think that they're gonna strengthen their culture or they can, they will be able to uh, retain their cultural identity because it, it, it's just numbers are so low. This is one point. Uh, another point. Yeah, so uh, this is also a point that I noticed that by, uh, by banning uh, burqa in public, uh, the tourism will also uh, be affected because I think uh, the important business or important source of uh, source of income in the Switzerland is tourism. This is the second point. And the third point I want to say, yeah, feminists, they are saying that they want to give equality between, uh, they want to give equality to the women uh, in, in a particular religion. So by wearing hijab, they, they think that the women is inferior. That's why they have to wear. But I, I would say that these feminist uh, group of people, they should definitely talk to the people who are wearing burqa and listen to their opinion that why do they wear it? And if they feel safe or they feel uh, inferior, I'm 100% sure that they would say that. They would say that, yeah, by wearing it, it's my choice. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think by wearing burqa, they, they will feel more comfortable. They are feeling more comfortable. That's why they are wearing it. So, yeah, without having a conversation with the people who are wearing burqa in public, uh, if, if, if you have to say for them, at least try to talk to them, I would say. I don't wear it, so I, I, yeah, I can't say anything for them who are wearing burqa in public, but yeah.